We were at Kempton Steam Museum steaming weekend when an Avalon and Porky steam engine arrived. <laughs> engine was owned by Lewis and he drove it four miles to here. It was quite a sharp S bend for a steam engine so they had to have a couple of goes. She arrived safely and the crowd looked on in awe. Thomas Avon and Richard Thomas Porter entered into partnership in 1862 and they developed a steam engine three years late in 1865. Tell me a bit about the engine. Well, it's a steam roller built by Avon and Porter in 1921. It was new to Perth and Kimross Council and it worked for the council for 43 years and then it went was sold straight into preservation and uh, yeah I'm the current owner. I've had it for about a year now. Four miles down the road, so it took about an hour. We had a couple of problems, so we had to stop on the road. But no, she caught up rapidly doing four or five miles an hour, so it's a slower pace of life. But but you got a lot of people looking at you. Well, most of it's positive, <laughs> but oh, there'll be some, get, there's always some get, negative. Yeah, <laughs> and you've got to remember you can't stop them really, so you can drive off with the handbrake fully on. So virtually no brakes, you just got to use the engine to slow yourself, but basically put the engine in reverse. I saw that on the Fred, Fred Dibner one where he's going around the corner with his friend and the yeah. car will stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so cool there. In the 1900s, Avelin and Port Company had become the largest manufacturer of steam rollers in the entire world. Oh yeah, because isn't it on for two days this? Yeah. yeah. So what would you do, wait for it to cool down and just let it cool now? Yeah, you will basically just let the fire go out, fill it up with water so you've got enough to start it. And then yeah, you really like the fire in the mornings. So you wait for it to get up the pressure. Whilst it's making steam, you're oiling it all round. So yeah, then you're ready to go then. The company used a rat to horse as its logo derived from the white horse of Kent. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I mean, I've seen quite a lot. I feel like I've missed out in a while. I haven't seen one of the you know, land ones. I'm happy, yeah, I'm happy it turned up. I saw it, I thought, oh, how exciting. I haven't seen you in a while. So I'm happy. Thanks for watching. I'll play you off with my Fred Dibmer song. If you want to listen to all of it, the link is below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
Little.